What your devil fruit says about you. Update 8 edition. 2k. You're either a beginner who ate the first fruit you saw, or you just like to troll people. Heal. You simply ate this fruit because you are a skilled PvP player and just needed something to heal you. Kilo. You're a beginner who ate this fruit for fun, or you're probably just dumb. Spin. You have skill to be able to use this fruit, or you just think the spinning is satisfying to fly around with. Bari. You are either a highly skilled player, or you just ate it because it was the first rare you found. Mero. You had this fruit because it's not hard to get, and it's simple for combo, extending in PvP, battle royale, etc. Oro. You are a rare player, as rarely anyone uses this fruit. You like its design and how simple it is to use. Bamu. You couldn't afford a legendary and you needed a dash so you ate it or you just ate it because of its explosive move. Gumu. You ate this fruit as soon as the update came out because you want a gear 2 and you're a fan of Luffy. Yomi. This fruit is good enough for you, good combo extenders and the ability to revive. Not a rare and not a legendary. Spring. You saw this fruit and liked the mobility so you ate it. You think it's not the best but it's decent and fun to use. Zushi. This was the first legendary you could get your hands on. You feel like it's super underrated and needs more appreciation. Gura. You ate this fruit because of the buff it received. It's highly potent in almost every aspect of the game. Ido. You feel like Spider-Man when using this fruit. It has simple combo extenders and is perfect for PvP and mobility. Hiei. You settled for this fruit because it's a Logia and it's okay for practically every aspect of the game. Yuki. You think this fruit is insanely fun to use and you just never seem to get tired of it. Yami. You ate this fruit simply because of its PvP capabilities and you like the overall design of the fruit. Mera. You love how simple and fun this fruit is to use. It's perfect for every aspect of the game and you always come back to this fruit. Hage. You feel that this fruit doesn't get the attention it deserves and that it is also really good for different aspects of the game. Paw. You are either a huge fan of Bartholomew Kuma or you just think the overall design is cool and wanted to eat it. Suna. You think this fruit is severely underrated and you're one of the few players that still use it. Magu. You probably have a high amount of points in fruits as most Magu users like to do this, and it's probably your favorite fruit. Goro. You had this fruit because it's practically the most balanced in the game. It has a cool design and cool flight so you kept it. Pika. You ate this fruit because it's perfect for grinding and also brings you to places a lot faster, making updates easier for you. Tori. Probably ate this fruit expecting it to be great after the rework, but you're starting to get more bored and bored after each use. Mochi. If you had this fruit, you probably have had it for a while and kept it because of its rarity and over the top moveset. Venom. You probably overpaid massively as this is your current favorite fruit in the game. You like its design and moveset, so you couldn't wait to get it. Ope. If you had this fruit, you were pretty much rich from the get go and could easily get this fruit because you're richer than the majority of the players. Or you're just lucky. Anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like and a sub. And also join my Discord. I'll be doing various fruit giveaways in my Discord. Link will be in the description. And that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next GPO video.